Hi, uh, my name is Eddie. I'm the chef and owner of the Sake House restaurant in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you one of my very popular salad dish. It's called crepe stick salad. It's a simple, delicious, and uh, very easy to make. Everybody can try and make it at home. The ingredient we need is the crepe stick, lemon, crispy lettuce, cucumber, shelly tomato. Come this way is the wakame, which means the baby seaweed, sesame seeds, pickled ginger, chopped spring onion, caviar, and uh, I got a beautiful uh, mix the salad we can easy to pick up. We need a Japanese mayo, okay, which mean is the, you can get any Chinese supermarket and the normal black pepper. First, I'm gonna show you that the crab stick, normally you get uh, from the store, you wrap with the plastic. All you need to do is just roll it out and uh, take the plastic off, come like this. Okay, of course you can't eat that anyway. <laughs> all right, first we let's go to chop all the uh, size, is which and is much easy because the Asian food always eat with chopstick. So that's why chopping is very important. That's just chopping is nice size. As you can see like that, it's much easy to pick up with chopstick. All right, now we get uh, one of the mixing bowl, put uh, our crab stick in the bowl. And that is the lettuce, which is finely chopped. I will just finely chop like that. Okay, just put it into the mixing bowl. A lot of people doesn't know how to prepare the seaweed, which means the wakame seaweed. No more that you come in, is dry. It dry seaweed like that, it's very crispy, you can't eat there. So it's so simple. All we need to do, just put uh, your seaweed into the bowl with the cold water. It's not right to use warm or hot water. Just direct the cold water, refresh in, soak it in the water. It takes about uh, three minutes. While we're waiting for the wakame, let's carry on. Let me show you the cucumber, what they're going to do. Normally, as you can see, the cucumber in the middle. That is a lot of moisture, which we don't need there because it will be get it too, won't be, the moisture in the cucumber won't be uh, crunchy. So we want to crunch that. So all we need to do, just as you can see, cut it in half, then take this middle off, part off. We don't need it there. Like that. And all we need to do, just, sorry, just grab this together and then also the funny chop like this, as you can see. Okay, two will be enough. Okay, as you can see, that will be, this cucumber will be enough. What we got in here is the ginger. It's more ready for, for sushi, but it's nice to use for salad as well. Just grab a cup of lemon, mix together, and also, when you buy the ginger, uh, you can see a little bit of liquid inside, but this liquid is so beautiful, so nice flavor. So you don't need a waste of that. Just get, get a few drops, about a teaspoon, in the mixing bowl. It can keep more moisture, especially for the salad. And now, let's get a lemon. You don't need a whole lemon juice. Just one wedges for one portion, that's enough. Okay, just, you don't want the seed, so I just catch with a little bit lemon juice in there. All right, ready? Let me show you the seaweed. Now it's so beautiful, nice, tender. You can just eat it directly like this. Beautiful. The wakame seaweed is also very healthy, very nice. All we need to do, just take out the seaweed, give a little bit of squeeze. You don't want too much moisture inside. Okay, right, all in. Now, we need is Japanese mayo. Squeeze is, I would like to say, about a three tablespoon. Japanese mayo in. Get a little bit of black pepper. That's enough. Best uh, tools of in the kitchen is your finger. Let's work in with that. Okay, as you can see, all the mayo combined with the pickled ginger juice and the lemon juice. The crab stick starts sucking all the flavor, all the juice inside. What we're going to do is just grab a little bit of mixed salad. Nice purple, green, all over on there. 
then let's go to our salad mixer. You can, if, if you can use chopstick, no problem. Just use the fork. Okay, just grab up everything together. Then move down to the metal. Okay, just be the another one put on the top. Just carry on like this. That is beautiful. You don't want to put everything uh, in the same time, put it on the plate because it, what is going to happen? It will fall in the part. So it's just grab one in the base, make it bigger, then slightly smaller on the top. Then carry on put it on the top so it can building up like this. Beautiful. Now let's get a bit nice touch with the chopped spring onion. Just sprinkle on the top like that. And also the garnish with slightly ginger on the side. And there. Okay, then some sesame seeds give you a touch of the nutty flavor. We got a beautiful caviar in here. If you don't like the caviar, you can just leave it out, no problem. But I feel the caviar is nice, such a nice uh, touch of the sea, taste of the sea. So, and also, look, color look nice, especially this red caviar. Just sprinkle on the top. And also, we got some shredded tomato. Just slightly cut in half. Okay, this time I got the three of land. All we need to do, just plating on the side. Like this. All right, this is my version of the crab stick salad. Look at the color, smelling. Wow, sorry. <laughs> my mouth started watering. This is most of the popular salad dish in my restaurant. And also simple, easy. Everybody can try and make it at home. Try to do it yourself. You will love it. I'm Eddie Zheng. Thank you for watching. I'll see you again soon at the Sake House restaurant.